just, just had a nightmare. Don't. Call Eve. Please don't. I hate it when you act like this. It's, it's, it's not like I'm going abroad. I'm just going to Abuja. It's not, it's not like I'm gone forever. I'm only going for a week. I'm doing this for you. I'm doing this for our daughter. I'm doing this for us for our future. I don't want you to go and suffer like my mother did. I don't want our daughter to suffer like her, like, like, like I did. I don't want to be like my father. You're already not like your father, Munachi. You have provided more than enough for us. You don't understand. My father made a little money from carpentry and he became complacent, he relaxed. Before you knew it, the little became nothing. That's why I'm going for the big money. That's the way there's so much more to do out there. There's so much money to make. All right? And I'm going to keep going. I'm, I'm keep, I'll keep going for it. But when I hit the billionaire mark, boom, then I can relax. Yeah, but until then, we got to keep moving. I, it's you I want, not any amount of money in the whole world. I love you. And that's why I'm doing this. I'm doing this for you. I want to be able to give you everything. Anything that you want. As you're thinking it, I'm making it happen. That's the life, man. That's the life, baby. Steve. I'm back. Hmm? You done? I'm done. What did you promise that you were going to do that? To be a good guy and to put you over there. Okay. What did Daddy say he was going to do? I don't want any gifts. Really? I want to go and tell the approach of competition to you. I'm contesting that. Princess. Mom is going to be there, okay? There's just good work to do. Have to work. Wait, 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 I promise you. The next one, I'll be here.
So these are um, these are the projections. I want to go home. My dad wants to have sex with me. What? So sorry. So sorry. Make a smile with me, because I can see through to your unhappiness. You talk to me. I'm your friend, and if you don't talk to me, I don't see who else you're going to talk to. What's the problem? Ah, uh, let me guess. Munachi has traveled again. Why well, thought he just got back five days ago. And left in next day again. I mean, what's his problem? I don't understand it. A better life, he said. What could be better than what he's already provided for you all? It beats my imagination, Sucho. I miss my husband. Don't. Don't. I miss the times I spent with him. I mean, the moments we shared together, all that time he would come to the kitchen and just hold my waist and watch me cook for us. I miss all of that. You know what I think we should do? Let's go and sing some praise and worship songs in church. And I'm sure we'll feel good again. Okay?
I don't need you to be stored. I need you to stay with me. I need you to be here. But I'm here now. I need you to always be here, Mona. I don't want you leaving me here every now and then. I'm sorry, my love. Please stay, Mona. Please. For this long distance, love is killing me so. You're my first love. My heartbeat. My boyfriend. Mona, you're my husband and my own. Please love me back like you used to. I still love you, Eve. Than I even did before the wedding. Right? I'm still your first love. I'm still your boyfriend. I'm still your husband, I'm still your heartbeat, I'm still your all in all. Then prove it by staying. But I have to make a future for us. You have already done that. I mean, what more could I ask for? Honey, we miss you. Please stay. Stay and love us. Stay and love your daughter. Stay and love me. We miss all the time we spend together. We miss the jokes we crack to us. We miss everything. Please just stay. Please. Shh. Say no more. So good. You too. Mm -hmm. It's pasta this morning. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> so, you ready to go to work? Mm. 
Don't forget that mommy's birthday is on Friday. I'll never forget. I'll go back home next time. I promise you. Okay? Hmm? Okay. So let me talk to mommy. Baby. So when are you returning this time? Oh, come on. Don't be like that. You and I know I'll be back before Friday. to be the happiest day of your life. You don't look very happy. Mm. Would you? My husband was supposed to return yesterday. And up to now, he's yet to call me. Look, I promise you, Munachi will come back. In fact, do you know what I think he's doing right now? I think he's somewhere right now planning you this huge surprise. Oh, face. <laughs> How is it? He should have just... Don't worry, he'll come back. Trust me. Happy birthday! <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Thank you so much, my lovely daughter. Thank you, okay? Thank <laughs> you, okay? Don't worry, I told 
सूजी दे दी Where is the music? Where is everybody? Where is you? Did I say something? No, no, it's not your fault. You're spoiling your beautiful makeup. Huh? I've told you everything is going to be fine. You can sit down. and well wishes are here. What are you doing? You're here breaking down in tears. Look, today, today is all about you. Today is supposed to be the happiest day of your life. And look at you here crying. Nachi doesn't deserve this. He does not deserve this. I want you to be happy. Today is about you. This is your day. Clean your eyes. You put a smile on that face and go out there and have a good time. Okay? I'll get up. up. Thank you all so much. I mean, this party was a husband's idea, but he's not here with us. But nonetheless, the party was go on. Um, it's just a party for a few people. So while we wait for him, there's enough to eat, enough to drink. Let's have as much fun as we can and put a smile on this beautiful face, shall we? All right, ladies and gentlemen, let the party begin. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, 
everybody came out to celebrate you. It was good. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I took so many pictures, but they're all on your phone camera. So maybe later you can look through and remember how fun today was. Uh -huh. <laughs> your phone is ringing. Mm. All right, let me get it for you. Mm. I'm just going to take his call. But is the reason you've been crying all day and now he's calling and you're not taking his calls? I understand. Just forget about everything, okay? Just try and get some sleep and don't worry. Everything is going to be fine. Okay? Everything's going to be fine.
Ouais. Oh. Oh, mais... Ouais, qu'est-ce que c'est Hein You're not in any mess. Because this whole evil plot is your idea. What? You, you heard me. How could you, Eve? How could you arrange for your daughter and your husband to be kidnapped, abducted, and brought into this evil forest? Look, uh, I have no idea how we got here. I put it to you that this is all your brainchild. This is your plan. But you know what? You have failed. Because I'm so getting my daughter and getting out of here. Find my way out of here and get back to my office. Because if I don't make it back to the office before 12 noon, I will lose a lot of money and business. Oh, you see your life? It's all about business and money. You know, not the security of your wife and daughter. Why do you think I'm doing this? Why do you think I'm chasing money and chasing businesses? Is it not so I can give my, 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 my wife and, and daughter some security? Just whatever! Whatever! Right! Una! I love you, don't you? Yes, I do. Okay. Do you want to ask me if I brought us to this forest? I wanted to beg you to please get us out of this forest. I have no idea how we got here. Oh, no. You do. I don't, Mona. I don't. Listen, Becky, I have an appointment. I 
at noon today. And I stand to lose 70 million naira if I don't make it to the office before noon. So please, get us out of I don't know how we got here. I have no hand in it. Don't mess with me. Get to his office. You're not going to show us how to get Where do you think you're going? Well, her is hungry and I'm going to find her something to eat. Oh, I see. What? So this was your idea. To make us live in the middle of nowhere. I have said this more than a million times, Mila. How else do you want me to say it? I have no hand in it. I don't know how we got here. I don't know how we got here. So please, if you excuse me, I have a hungry child to feed. With what? Why are you taking her? Oh, get your hands off me! I will kill you! I will kill you here! Get me out of here! Get me out of here now! Will you just let me go? Will you just let me go? Let me go! What is wrong with you? How do you think I got out here? You are the one who is here! You are the one who is here! What is wrong with you? I will kill you! Don't sit there, leave me alone! What is wrong with you? You are hurting me, you are hurting me. You are making us this. Please don't put me on the floor. What is up with you? I can't talk anymore. I can't talk anymore. Oh, leave me alone.
in your feelings, you have to eat something. Like I need us something very nice to eat. I prefer to just the way you like it. I'm sure it's past 9 a.m. right now, okay? You just have to eat something. Please. What, what has come over you? Eve? Oh, what, yeah. what happened to you? When did you become this wicked and twisted? Please, easy with your choice of words. Our daughter is here. Our daughter? The same daughter that you abducted and brought into the middle of this forest. Right? You know, I don't know how we got here. I didn't bring us here. Do you know that our lives are not safe here? Do you know that, that a, a wild animal, a beast, could come here and eat us all up? Yes, you would say you built us a built us a house. Look, look at it. Look, look at it. Look at the door. Have you seen it? Can this stop anything from coming in the night and killing us all? I, I didn't bring us here. I don't know how we got here. Please. Leave me. I didn't. I couldn't have. I'm begging you, please. Get us out of this forest. Yeah. It, we are not safe here. But I, I didn't. Shh. I promise you. No more traveling. Not one more travel. I would counsel everything. I would become a house husband. Just get us out of here. It is not safe. Do you get it? I don't know. We got here. I think we got here. Please. How can I get through to you? This is not a game. It is not funny. You're playing with our lives. You're playing with my livelihood. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I don't know how we got here. I didn't bring us here. We are here cooking. You're cooking. You're, 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 you're feasting. In the middle of nowhere. I to make something. I had a night. Reveling, you're you're enjoying this moment. I don't know what you're talking about. I beg of you, please. Please get us home. Look, you are wrecking me financially. I've already lost 70 million naira today, and I start a chance to lose a whole lot more if you keep me locked up in this place. Please get us home. You're putting our lives in danger. If not for me, just for, for my daughter. Just, just please. If this is not an act of love. No, it's not. 
You're deluded. This is not an act of love. This, this, this is an act of wickedness. Enough! Enough, Munachi! Huh. Do I have to kill myself to prove to you that I did not bring us here? And I don't care. I really don't care. She never did. Oh, I never did. Oh, I never cared. That's why I go out every day running around trying to make money for you and our daughter. Another wife would have said, Oh, bravo husband, you're doing so well. He would have charged me to go and do more, but not you. All you want me to do is to stay at home and just watch your eyes, watch television, or sit on the couch and just sit my butt around, eat and drink and sleep and die. Is that what life is to you? Life and marriage, is that what you learn that it is? Get me out of here, I want to make money. You're chasing money. You're chasing money. You think I would be so stupid to keep believing that lie, right? You're making money philandry shamelessly, shitting on your, your faithful wife with two prostitutes? You have no idea what you're talking about. You're out of your mind. You should be ashamed of yourself. You should be ashamed of yourself! You were hoping that I would not know until the lipstick on your shirt sold you out. Shameless you! You should be ashamed of yourself! You should be ashamed of yourself! You're making money, you're chasing money! You ought to be ashamed of yourself! All you do is eat and sleep, I provide for you, I buy you clothes, clothe you, feed you, and house you! And yet you had the audacity to bring a man into my home! Holy Saint Mary! You're just a cheap whore! Prostitute! That's what you are! Go! When I stopped falling, let me go and look for your mom, okay? Hmm? Will you be here? Just lie down away from me, okay?
Daddy! Daddy!
Please forgive me. I've been an, an egocentric, blind husband and father. I couldn't even protect my own wife, okay? I'm sorry. No, it's me. It's me. I swore to, to, to love and protect you, but I've not even been there for you guys. I was chasing money, chasing this and chasing it. Oh my God. When I thought I wasn't going to see you again, I was ready to lose everything just to have you back. Look, come, come, come see. Sorry. So how do we get out? I promise we will find a way. I will find a way. We will get out of here. But I'll tell you something. If we ever make it out of this place, I will go back to being the man that you married. So funny. Are you hungry? Yes, I am. I made some rice. Let me get you some food. I know we've been through a lot in this forest, but I'm still tempted to ask you about the lipstick stain I saw on your shirt. Well, it's, it's nothing, I promise you. It was just one, you know, room service girls that get fresh with me, you know? All these girls, very audacious. You know, just came into the room and started to, you know, try to kiss me and all of that. I'm like, Come on, man. You should be in school or something, you know? So you're saying uh, nothing happened? Absolutely. She tried to have her way. I didn't let her have her way. You know what? She wasn't even my type. You know, I wasn't even moved. You know, I was just looking at her like, what's wrong with you? You know? So nothing ever happened in any of your trips? No! Yeah. I just go to my conference, my meetings, and I get back to the room. You know, I, I work very hard. I'm tired, you know? Sex is the last thing on my mind. Hmm. You know? Why are we even talking about me? Uh, how about you? You, you? you kissed the guy. I, I, I could have sworn that you almost had him. Oh, you. I didn't want to imagine it. Mm. Well, you have to believe me, too. I, I don't know what came over me that night. I just, but I, I'm sure I didn't have sex with him. Sure. Sure. You have to believe me too. Okay, I'm just messing with you. I believe you. You know, what well, you don't realize is he, he, he drugged you that night. You know, he just like drugged you. Where did you even find the guy? How do you know? I don't know him. He just came as a priest and as a plumber. Christian and plumber? Those Christians can be very horny. <laughs>
So, that, there were two brothers. Hmm? One of them was Cain. The other one was Abel. Cain is older than Abel. Okay? One day, God told them to bring sacrifices. Right? And they got the same instructions. When the time came, Abel brought his own. Cain brought his own. But um, Abel's sacrifice was accepted. And Cain's sacrifice was not accepted. Because Cain was very angry. So don't be scared of this. Because God is watching everything. He can see us. He knows we're here. <laughs> hmm? Hmm? Mm. Are you going to pray before you sleep? Mm. Come and sleep. Oh. Mm. Love you, Dad. Easy. Great yeah, I'll blow it. Yeah. yeah. Whoever brought me here did me a favor. I don't have any hand in it. It doesn't matter. Okay? All I'm saying is like crap. There's nothing to do. Maybe even more than me. Mm. I'd misplaced my priorities in my, in my pursuit of happiness, realizing. Mm. Yeah. Mm. It seemed like I was sacrificing today for tomorrow. Not slowing down and realizing that we need to slow down, enjoy, enjoy our lives. I kept struggling to make you see that. It's few hours I've spent with you guys have been far better than all my hours of, of traveling put together. Mm. Yeah, for real. Mm -hmm. I, I don't, it's, I'm just realizing, you know, that I've missed you guys, that I've missed us, you know? And, and I'm realizing how much the pursuit of money has really distracted me. Well, whoever brought us here did me a favor to me. Because I was dying alone in that house. It's a big house. But you know what I'm thinking? Maybe we shouldn't we'll go back there. <laughs> I want to go back home. Like, I want to be home right now. Of course. <laughs> Just be humans. Seriously. We have come to the final point. It's time to go home. Who the hell are you? You can call us salvation. You set this up? Perhaps you would like to meet our friend who happens to be a friend of Madame here. What is what is he talking about? I don't, I don't know anything. You said you knew nothing about it. I don't know anything, I, I swear. But I he just talked about your friend. What friend? I swear I don't know anything. I don't know anything. I don't know anything about this. What is going on? No! I don't know anything!
This good for nothing bastard. Bastard. How dare you? How could you choose him? I'm sorry. I'm sorry for putting you and your family through all this. But I must say, your husband is a very stupid and foolish man. In fact, he's the world's dumbest man. Dumb doesn't make you rich. It obviously doesn't make you enviable. You really think I envy you? You know, that just confirms how dumb you are. You have a beautiful woman. A wonderful wife. A great family. But you're too blind to see that. You're self-centered and insensitive. I'm not blind. I married her. Right. Yeah. Maybe I was a little bit caught up. But I've already spoken to my wife. We've sorted that out. But for you, don't think that I'm not going to report to the police for this. Don't think you're not you're gonna get away with this. After trying to get with her, even after drugging her and uh, she still said no. I realized how wonderful a person she is. And I decided to help her. Help? Yes, help her. Yes, and um, I came up with this crazy idea, you know. I don't just dump you all in the middle of nowhere to sort out your issues. You know, even though you don't deserve her, I'm happy you did. I'm glad that you think yourself to be God now. You play God in people's lives. Let's see how the jail works out for you. You this stupid rapist who kidnapped her. If I had a woman like her, spent a lot more time with her. I see. I mean, every day, morning, noon, night, every hour, minute, and seconds. And I will look into her eyes, hmm. see every desire there, and make sure they are met with. I hope you do get a woman. <laughs>